Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Baby Metal are going on a world tour to tour their new album, Metal Galaxy. It has finally been released and will be released on October 11th, which is the same day as the LA Forum show, which I don't think I've said on here, but me and Lily are going to that show. So we're gonna be in California for a week and it's gonna be the best and the hype has just increased because this is going to be the album release show. How amazing. It's going to be so good. So they've already announced their US tour and that the LA show is the last one of that tour. And then they're going to do some festivals after that in California. And so today has been such a day. Um, today they did their Yokohama show, um, which is 28th of June. Um, after the show, probably maybe straight after, and then like a few hours after the show, um, they released so much stuff. So the first thing was the album release and different things you could buy, so limited edition stuff and vinyl um, sets and stuff, which you could buy. So that was the first thing. And obviously it being October 11th, we, that's the same show as the forum. And then they released a world tour which is a europe tour and a japan tour so oh my god so they're doing a uk they're not just doing a europe tour they're doing a europe tour which includes a uk tour which is other shows other than london you can't even imagine what myself and Lily, we were going absolutely nuts, messing with each other, like, oh my God, like, oh my God, we're gonna get like more shows in the UK. Oh my God, amazing. So the first one in the UK they're going to is Glasgow, which is February the 19th. And the capacity for that is 1,900. So that's a really, really small venue. So that will be such an experience for people who can go. Next is February the 20th, which is Cardiff in the Great Hall. And that is 1,500 capacity. I think, I think I've been there before for to see Coheed in Cambria. And the venue's tiny and it kind of goes around like like the stage is here and then like the audience is here and you can go round like the edges because of the entrance is like go, goes past the stage and the stage is really small so I'm interested to see what they do. So me and Lily are going to that one. Then the next one is February 22nd in Manchester which where is Lily is from so she's very happy about that. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be going to that one. And then it's London ah, at the Hammersmith Apollo on February the 23rd, which is the day, exactly the day after the Manchester one. So we'll be staying in Manchester and then traveling to London the following day. So we'll be traveling and then probably queuing. It's gonna be mental. I can't wait. So I, I will, probably won't be going to the Glasgow one just because of, I have to, I don't have that much time to have off work and blah, blah, blah. Yes. So I'm gonna read out the rest of the Europe tour. So I'm just gonna read it off my laptop. So February 3rd, is Stockholm in Sweden. On the 4th it's Oslo, uh, the 5th is Copenhagen, the 8th is Hamburg, the 9th is Paris, the 11th is Vienna, 13th Cologne, 14th Berlin, the 16th is Brussels, uh, the 17th is Tilburg in the Netherlands. I so want to go back to the Netherlands. Mm. And then we got Glasgow, Cardiff, Manchester, London, then Helsinki on the 26th, the 28th is St. Petersburg in Russia. I can't believe they're going to Russia. Honestly, that's nuts. And March the 1st is Moscow. They're doing two dates in Russia. The, the people who I thought of first is um, Go Light Up, the cover band who do loads of baby metal covers and they're awesome. They'll get to see them, which is, which is really good because they're from Russia. That's going to be, I bet they're really excited. These are mostly all very small venues, which is, it's actually really good because you get more of an like an intimate experience and it's not just a massive show so it'll be it'll be it'll be so good it'll be awesome the japan dates they're only doing four so they've got two in saitama super arena which is november 16th and 17th and then osaka joe hall on november 20th and 21st that is super exciting they get some more shows this year so i want to talk about the show that was today so much hype was around it and boy, did it live up to the hype. 
Okay, so they had a massive, like, the, 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 when they released, like, the Metal Galaxy thing, they had this kind of cube thing, which was, like, opening up, going over the moon or the world. They had that, like, in the middle of the stage, and it, like, opened up, I think, and the girls are inside it, or on top of it, or whatever. So that was awesome. Um, they had three girls. Three! The third girl is apparently Riho Seishi. I think, I don't know how you pronounce it. I think she's the same age as Sue and from Hiroshima, apparently. But I think she's not, obviously not going to be permanent. Else, they would have said something, although they don't really tell us much, do they? So maybe she might be doing some of the Japan shows and then someone else will do the Europe or London shows. Who knows? The rapper from the song Papaya was there and they had an awesome picture with him because you can get to see their costumes in detail, which was awesome. Their costumes were like a fluorescent rainbow sparkly dress, which actually, I didn't say anything, but I did predict it would be that kind of colour. Um, I can't really describe what the colour is, but it's like when... I don't know, it's like, you know when oil is on the floor and you can see like the reflection of all the colours? It's like that. I don't know what the actual colour is, but it's gorgeous. And it's kind of, it looks kind of like snake skin and it's just amazing. So it's not, it's not tutus, it's like a long floaty dress with like things on the side and pointy shoulders. Moa has got her pigtails back and her fringe, which I'm very happy for. And Sue has her high ponytail and fringe back and they had like spikes on their hair ties. Awesome. I've heard the Papaya choreography is amazing. I can't wait to see it next week in London. They will obviously play it, I think. So the set list for that was 13 songs, which I'm very happy for. I mean, it's still on the shorter side because that was a big venue. Like, I understand 13 songs for a smaller venue is probably perfect, but 13 songs just need maybe a couple more. I don't know. But they played Yava, which... Oh my god, is that is in my top five songs and they haven't played it in so long. They, when was the last time they played it? They played it at the Big Fox Festival, that's when they last played it. So long ago. They also played two new songs, one to start with and then one in the middle. They had no solos from Moa or Sue, which was quite sad because Sue always does a solo, always. Maybe they're dropping it, I don't know. But yeah, but that's really, really exciting. Their costumes were, I love the costumes. They're, just, they're going back to their roots. They got pigtails, they got like tutu like dresses. <sighs> and they got their fringes back. Oh, so emotional. Everyone was just going nuts. And we got the show all over again tomorrow. Might be the same set list, who knows. And then we got Legend M. Well, actually before that, we got the London show in Glastonbury. They've actually released a article online, I can't remember what website, about, they did an interview about Glastonbury and they said at the end, so I think they've got something special to show everybody because Bring Me The Horizon are playing after them, maybe they're doing a little collab, I don't know. Or the fact that the rapper from the Papaya song is going to come on stage, maybe that's it. I think they're going to go down pretty well at Glastonbury because their new song is quite modern. I think a lot of people will like it. Um... Yes. And they said that they're looking forward to seeing Bring Me The Horizon, obviously, and Billie Eilish, which is awesome. I really hope they get to meet her because, I mean, she looks older than them and she's only like 17, 18. It's crazy. All aboard the hype train for Baby Metal, 2019 and 2020. It's very exciting. I can't wait to hear the album. The album cover is amazing as well. It's very, very galaxy and starry. It's cool. Just so much hype. There's so much hype. I'm going to London next Tuesday in Brixton. I We're going to get tickets for Cardiff, Manchester and London. Maybe, maybe one, maybe one or two shows in Europe. Maybe Paris or Germany. I don't know. I would like to go back to the Netherlands, but it's like in the middle of the week, it'd be quite hard for me to go. Uh... I, yeah, I won't be going to the one in Glasgow because I have to fly and it'll just take too long. So exciting. I just, it's amazing. So thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video. Bye.